You saw it again, I guess. He left the evening before, and as the sun followed another sleepless night, her fury remained. Fury and pride. I'm still proud, he thought, even now, if only because a lack of pride would admit to wasted years and make them real and give them power. I've tasted the poison and felt the need that surpasses all other needs, and I sit here refusing to waste away, while others let me sit in rotting houses, on rotting houses, staring blankly at blank walls, thinking and seeing nothing. And yet, men's eyes pass me on the street and judge from a glance, and I'm still proud because I've lived more life than they will ever know, and lived it freely as a woman, and seen the worst of its ruin, and I'm still proud, even now. And proud I will remain until I have nothing at all. Man, are we a woman? What? Are we a woman in this game? I think we might be a woman, yeah. Not that that's a bad thing, but I think we might be a woman. Hmm. You're a proud free woman, yes. I've seen the ruin and have pleasured myself. What? I've pleasured myself with all and any. What? And I have no zealotry left or ambition or hope in a changed world, but this is how I have lived and I'm proud of it. Because pride is the mark of a woman, and when life has burned to ashes, the pride will still remain, and when truth and faith and hope and certainty have burned to it, will remain and when I am nothing at all, and the needles and their poison have finally sucked me dry. Holy shit, that is one long sentence. I just realized that whole paragraph is one sentence. My daughter spits my name contemptuously. It will not matter because I have lived more life than they will ever know, and I have lived it as a woman and seen it, seen its ruin, and even when pride cannot hide the wasted years. And they know it was all for nothing, and they s and scream silently that it was all for nothing, and despair that all the fucking and the pleasures and the pride were nothing. Uh huh. Even then, when the needles and their poison have sucked me dry, and my daughter spits my name contemptuously, and the pride cannot hide the wasted years. And the waste and the pleasured memories cannot drown out a scream. Even then, something somewhere will know that I have lived free, as a freely as a woman. And even in death, I will be proud. What the? F Hang on. Right. So this is the intro. We got six pages of text as an intro. What the fuck? That's all I got to say. What the actual fuck? A game by David something. Disgusted by Ski. Choice from Ski. Okay. Now, this one, this came out on Steam the other day, and I, I like the look of this. This is only really cheap. It's like $2. It is dirt cheap, and it looked interesting. And, you know, an hour long game, a couple of bucks. You know, how bad can it be? Less than a cup of coffee. Look at the waves, sweetie. Are they pretty? Yes. Look at the waves. A simple lock, okay. Well, we got some scissors here, can we? Ah. We can use the scissors in the lock. You can get the scissors inside the lock, but there isn't enough room to move them around. Okay. Shit, where's my scissors? Looks like a toolbox.
Alright, so we can't use the scissors to unlock the door. Um, well, the rest of the game is inside this room. This little thing. I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm, I'm confused. I am confused. So we are in the very first room in the game and we are stuck. That seems a bit bad, right? Ah, what's this? Ice pick. Pick it up. Aha, we used the ice pick to open the door. Okay, open the door. Now let's take the scissors with us. Alright. Oh, Looks pretty. What is that? Making a noise. What is making this noise? It's mom. Listen to me. This is very important. You need to stay put. Don't leave the fenced in area. Don't go into the basement. Don't mess with that machine outside. Just don't go anywhere, all right? Stay in the shed and wait for me. There are some dangerous animals loose, and I don't want you to get hurt. Uh -huh. Everything is going to be fine. Stay in Just the shed. Do as I say. Stay in the shed. Yes, we'll stay in the shed all right. Alright, let's put this down where we know where it is. Here. A brass panel, how to place by square screws. Oh, can we just use these scissors to take these screws off? Ah, I can't get enough leverage. What else we got? What is this up here? Is it like a fridge? A simple lock. We need to. We need our um, ice pick. Let's go get it. Hello, children. Hang on. Let's open this one first. Over here with that one. Okay. Ooh. A battery. More scissors. A piece of glass. A knife. Ah, we can use a knife on this thing here, right? Maybe. It's too bendy, you need a screwdriver. Alright. Got a battery. What about those scissors? Alright, so. What else we got over here? This little pool of water, okay. Oh, wire colours! A torch. Holy shit, we got so much stuff. Now I'm trying to put it all in the same place so I don't lose it. What is that on there? A metal lighter? <gasps> Look at all this stuff. 
Your mission is to escape and find the amusement park, maybe. Machine for opening the door. Okay. Do we gotta turn this on, right? Hang on, let's. Tr oh, why colors? Let's get in the shed first. Why colors? Chain is rusty enough. So we can't cut the rope. We need to get a knife for that. Hang on, she's calling back. Get a knife. Let's see what she wants. Sweetie, you have to stop messing with me. I know you love to explore and play with machines, but this is for your own good. Yes. You won't be safe if you don't mind me and stay put. She's telling us to behave and not, not um, to stay put, not mess with stuff. She's going to be um, get a bit of a shock soon. The thing is, you can't open the door holding something. You have to put it on the floor. Oh, she's coming back. You're disobeying your mother, Autumn. Disobedient girls get punished. Disobedient girls get punished. They judge everything. And the wolves know too. And I know. Don't touch that machine. Stop getting into things. Don't try my patience. Uh huh. Disobedient girls get punished. The pipe leads down into the ground. Okay. I'm aware of that, I can see that. Two of it's a lift. Wish I could. I wish I had two working hands. What? Hang on. So she doesn't have two working hands. What? I'm confused. What is she? What the fuck we gotta do? Oh, what tools are we have? We got the. Um, Scissors, screwdriver, ice pick. So we can't do anything else for that, we've used it. So, the only thing we've got left in here we haven't done anything with is this. How do you. How does this thing work? What? 
Don't mess with mommy's woodland moonshine distillery. I think you're supposed to lift the door open. I can. So if we can't lift it open, then what? buildings, these little sheds, lots of screwdrivers. I guess it's for the torch. So I guess the battery and the torch is going to be of use to us when we get down below. I guess. This game is supposed to last an hour, oh, yes, and, and it's like, and it's supposed to be the hour of it is, is trying to figure out this. It's trying to figure out the, the combination to, of the switch. Because I'd imagine it's supposed to um, lift the door when, it, when you get it right, I guess. How do you know when, it, when you've got it right? I mean, this could be a total red herring and it's nothing to do with this, right? Got it. Now let me pick the torch up. I wish I had clothes on. It's really cold down here. Hey, what? So we don't even have clothes on? Well, why don't we have the torch? Where do, why don't we pick up the flashlight? <laughs> you silly girl. There's a flashlight on the floor just upstairs. This stool looks strangely familiar. Ah, there we go. Oh dear, Mum's pissed. It's gonna be, what are you doing down here? You got a friend on the floor to click the button. What part of don't go into the basement don't you understand? 
Uh-oh. I've tried being nice, and apparently you're too stupid for nice. So get back in your little shed and wait there, quietly, until I decide what to do with you. Or do you want to die? Um... Do we want to die? Is there a light switch? <laughs> so we got a... Looks like a screwdriver. The thing is a bit of a problem here, right, is we're holding this flashlight. Um, you can't interact with, interact with another object while you're holding the flashlight. So if you put the flashlight down, then you can interact with something else, like this um, candle. You know, and then you can um, pick the flashlight back up. Saws, look at those. But at least when you drop the floor at the saw, it's still a little bit light around where the saw is. Alright. I've got a saw. So we've got a saw that's right in the corner. Okay. Ice pick. And if I put that here, then we'll move the um, saw over to this chair. Right. Candy. And, whoa, there are booby, booby candy chests. There are booby candies. Oh, there's some steps. Hang on, let's look what's in here first. Um, so we've got a tap. An axe. Oh, you can open that. Yes. Ooh. Scissors. I got no idea what that is. Oh, fuses. Batteries. A syringe. Okay. It's nailed shut and it's blocking the door from opening. Okay. We got an axe here. Though. Can we axe it? A question. You can't lift it with one hand. Do we only have, why do we only have one hand? Hmm. I could know to work. work. You take care. And Eric, you know, there is it you can buy a VIP book if you have the credits. It's like fifty bucks to get some VIP book if you want it. Some pretend candy. You already turned the valve on. Okay. She's a weak mutant. She's got one arm and God knows what else. We can't go up the steps, so. So, okay, so we can't go up the stairs. What, are, what the fuck are we doing? We, I suppose we've got to get in this door, right? Oh, there's a switch. Can we flip the switch? Aha. Holy fuck, a light switch. So it's nailed to the door. What are we? Ah, we've got a saw. We can use a saw, right? Well, I mean, uh, VIP bronze you can get for, um, with, um, um, by a command for 50 buck. Um, obviously, VIP silver and gold are picked up by, um, there we go, by, um, people donating, um, five dollars or more, but VIP bronze, you can pick up just bronze by, um, using the, I think, um, buy a VIP command. Alright, so we've opened the door, I think. Yes. There's a box with a lock. 
And note, you can't do anything at all with your nine-year-old brain and your one-year-old, your one nine-year-old hand. What? Do you think I accidentally hung that key where you could reach it? What? Wait, 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 hang on, what's the... Oh, shit. Hang on, she's calling again, for fuck's sake. Mom, piss off. Do I have to pry off your kneecaps, you little shit? Do I have to nail your fucking arms to the floor? I will twist your legs off and break every bone in your ugly little body if I have to. I am your mother. You will obey me. Get back in your fucking cage. <sighs> no, Mom. No. Mom pissed. I want to see what's in here. Look, we do have a, um... we got to get that, um, ice pick, right? Shit, where was that ice pick again? So we got a... Why cut us on a, like a, a ramp? Where was the ice pick? There's fuses, batteries. There's a, there's a button here. Do you think this is a button to open a door? Oh. I thought it might be in a light switch or something. I'm sure we saw an ice pick, right? Or am I dreaming? Is that it? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, it's a screwdriver. It's not an ice pick. work. Because obviously we've only got one hand, so we can only hold one object at once, right? I'm trying to bring everything over to that little um, area. So we got everything in reach. Well, everything in the light, I should say. To so bring everything over there, everything's in the light. I'm trying to put it down on top of the um, table so you can still see the thing, but no, she's so short, she can't. Put it down on the table. Ah, there we go. There we go. You bashed off the old lock. Okay. What is that? A strange glass object. Okay. And a wrench. Alright, we've got everything outside. Okay. All of our tools are outside the door. Okay, so. Oh, there's another tap. Okay, turn it on. Why not? So what are we actually doing then? 
I'm guessing we need to do something with... I don't know, we can't go out that way. So what do we have to do? Yeah, you can't go back up. I mean, this is the door we came in, and if you look, it's locked, so... We've probably got to do something with um, these... Oh, it's a lock, yes, we know that. It's something to do with this. This metal, there's a metal plate here, right? We've got to do something um, with that. We've got to use a tool on that. I don't know what tool, but we've got to use something on this. Ah, right, this, look, this object fits in that gap perfectly. Do you see that? Alright, so it fit in there. Now what? Um. Now what? Another tap. I just turn it all on, I don't know why. Just because. Rambles. Hello. Oh, it's another button. How many more light switches have I missed? <laughs> Shit, there's one here as well. Oh, there are two small holes. Ah, fuses. Fuses. Did Kermit rip off your skin? Kermit is a ghost. Look. Rambos. Kermit has got a costume on today. He's um he's pretending to be a ghost. Oh So, um, I don't know what we're doing. I really don't. I really don't know what you're doing. Because we we um, put this thing in here. Um, uh, maybe we got to do something else with that now? Like whack it with a big hammer or something? We've got a bit of light now, though. Which definitely helped. Now let's um. A lighter, batteries, another syringe. Is there more syringes? There's another screwdriver. Another syringe. You know what? What was that? Take the thing out, come on. Where was that lighter? I thought I going to light some candles. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I get some mood lighting going on. Oh yeah. Alright, more candles. There's a candle in here somewhere, I think. There we go. That's better, right? Oh shit, I threw it on the floor. I'm gonna shut these taps up. to party. No, you can't you can't push it in anymore unfortunately. Maybe you can hit it with a you probably gotta hit it with a tool or something. Let's hammer. Let's just try tools on it and see which one does something. Some one of them might do something. Hammer it. No. What about right? Scissors. Scissors. Nope. All right, that's it. Um, apart from the saw, that's it. That's all the objects we got. Apart from oh, apart from this, syringes. And use a syringe on it. Alright. Oh. And um, we put the syringe in there. So you can put a syringe in there. The walls smell dark and feel moist. As I don't know. I don't understand. So we put two syringes inside here, right? Where did they go? Why did the world go all bendy? You did it when I put a syringe inside this thing. But I don't have any more, I only had two. So I can't put I can't put another one in there, we only had two. Let's just look around, make sure there's not another one somewhere. It seems to indicate the water is flowing through the pipe or not. There's probably some way to control water flow outside. Yes, we can't get outside. Oh shit, we can get outside. Fuck. Fuck, we can get outside. Okay, so something out here wanted a screwdriver, didn't it? What was it?
Wait, that's locked again? That was open. Wait, all of the tools I had are gone. Hang on. What? Um, all the objects have disappeared. And the door's locked again. Everything's back as it where it was at the start. What? That's not good. What happened there? It seems to have um reset everything. Well, not everything, like these things have locked again. And all of the objects went back inside it. Weird shit. So who shut the doors? Right? It's kind of weird though that we can't get back inside, right? before as I was fiddling with a switch and all of a sudden it let me in. I'm supposed to lift the door open. Exactly the same way as it was last time, so fuck knows. And all of the objects are back outside. You know, like my torch is back and stuff. I just don't get it. I'm not sure if that's. I'm guessing that's, that's obviously supposed to happen, right? Um, but. I'm guessing that it's supposed to happen. It sucks, yes, that does suck. Back 
I want mom to call again because she sounded pissed last time. She's gonna be really pissed next time. So what would be nice is if we had the hammer out here, we could just hammer the shit out of things. But we don't. All we got is a screwdriver and a um. I don't, even, I don't even think we have a wrench or anything. Screwdriver and an ice pick and a knife. An old kitchen knife. Those aren't wire cutters. Lots of wire cutters. On the box on the right, you mean this? We need a wrench. Where's the wrench? We haven't got a wrench. What? We use a wrench here to try to um, do something with this, but we don't have one. The wrench is downstairs. What we got up here is an ice pick, um, a knife, and some broken glass and some scissors. Can we slit our wrists with a shard, a glass shard? <laughs> slit our wrists. Well, it's kind of tough though because we've only got one arm. So if we've only got one arm. Slitting our wrist will be kind of tough. If you know what I mean, I think it would be really tough if we only had one arm. Um. Hmm. But yeah, it's supposed to be like an um, hour long, right? But it's supposed to be a bit... I actually don't understand... I don't understand it, right? Um. I mean, it's got to be something incredibly simple that we are um, that we are blatantly missing. If you know what I mean. Because what we're trying to do is get out, right? That's a big, a big saw. Yeah, we did have one up here already. Um, there's a screwdriver in the shed over there. Is there anything behind the shed? We just hide in the bush here and just wait and pretend we're not. Pretend we're not here. What a pretty blue rock. It's crazy, really. With the sun being so bright, it is surprisingly dark, right? It is surprisingly dark, seeing as it's so bright here. I don't understand. See, maybe we shouldn't have come out, right? That's what I'm thinking. 
Maybe we shouldn't have come out, and the fact that we did has kind of um, screwed it for us. <sighs> so I don't know. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think um I think we we must have missed something. We really must have missed something. Um we must have missed something. We have to cuz we shouldn't have come back out here, right? Um I reckon we missed something in the basement. That's what I think. We must have missed something in the basement. <laughs> Outside is pretty shitty, yes. It is pretty shitty. Let's put it back how it was. This is how it was when we um, came out of here. Like that. Um, If only we could remember how to, this is how I got back down. I had to switch like this. Um, this is how I did it. I'm sure it was. Or is it like this? Like that, I think. That's how I had it. Look, just like that. Might as well be playing rhythm. Um, but that is how it was. I'm sure it was. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. There's a right... There's a run button? Wait, did you actually run? So we're back in here. Everything says it was. Now we gotta get in this door here, right? All right. So, hang on. Rinse, rinse, repeat. <laughs> See, we recognise we've been in here because all of the um the doors open and stuff, right? But we might have to um. Yeah, look, everything's unlocked. We gotta um. Where's the lighter? Gotta light the candles again. Is there a lighter in here? No. Where was the lighter? It was in a drawer, wasn't it? I think. In one of these drawers. I'm bothering lighting the candles. Seems like a bit of a pointless exercise. There you go. All right. So that that door up there, those steps that way, is how to get out. Um. 
Wait, she has three legs? So running is a given? I don't... But we... I don't know. Um... Um... Because last thing we did, we put the um, thing in the middle, right? We put the thing in the middle of the the uh, thing up here, and we could put some syringes in it, and they said they fit. And if we put that down here... The object fits perfectly. Yeah, we put a syringe in there. I don't... Man, where's the wrench? Maybe we got a... Because we've got a thing in there. Maybe we've got to figure out how to float up water. Just so start to, um... Let's go bang on some pipes or something. <laughs> Don't go near those steps, because you'll probably, um, come out. Have we got more pipes? Oh, what is that? Ah, using your full body. Oh! You open a valve with a wrench. Oh, look at that! Oh, 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 oh. Oh shit, there's a wolf in there. Which doesn't work anymore, damn it. Oh, oh look, the steps are gone. The, the door was gone. This is the um the door we stepped when we went out, right? They're gone. Wait, is there anything else to do? Let me see if we can turn this light on. Oh shit, that's different down there, look. Where's the switch? There was a switch there. There was a switch on the wall, it's gone. No, she's not, she doesn't... When, when she does, you get this really loud um, ringing noise. I'm guessing we're going this way. I'm guessing we're going this way. You're a little bitch, you know that? You're a horrible little bitch. 
wasting time playing with electric motors while I slave my life away. Do you think I wanted you? I kept a oh, wire shit. coat hanger in the bathroom for months. Just to look at it and think about it. And all the teachers think you're so special. You aren't special. You're spoiled. Because I'm wasting my life giving you the things I didn't have. Let's get the lighter rather than... There's another flashlight down there. So I'm going to go and get the lighter or... Oh, we can't go back. Fuck. I'm going to go back and get the lighter or something, but you can't. Hope we don't need it. Because the fact that there's another flashlight here it makes me think that maybe you need to bring something else. But since you can't go back, it seems a bit... You know, you got to do it, right? you got to... Everything up here that you need, you've got to have up here, right? Be a brave little half. You know, I wonder if I wonder if we get to see what we look like by the end of this. Your mother was sitting on a porch with a hasty green paint, talking to the woman with a short hair, smoke drifting upward. Not knowing you were listening, I kept the coat hanger in the bathroom for months just to think of it. Um. Mother heard screams and staggered out onto the porch with the hasty green paint, arms punctured with holes, finding you cold up and drip and dripping blood. You looked weird, Orson. Okay. We looked weird. And you sobbing, spilling blood on the floor of the dog, my hand. What? You look weird, Orson. And you can't let them both out. The world is a growling, grinding machine, and you can't escape its teeth without teeth to match. It devours little girls like you, eats you up from the inside. Someday you'll know the meaning of ruin and wasted years. You'll have children of your own, and you'll understand. You can't live life without the howling. What? Still, I cannot re recover the wasted years of unknown coming of the contemptuous spits and the final poison, or force my mouth to know what's in my heart, or stop all those words from spelling out and instead say that I am your mother, and you are my daughter, and I love you, and I know. 
this somewhere deep inside, but I cannot feel it past the screams and the wasted tears and the need that surpasses all other needs and the ruin and yes, even the pride. And I can't make the words stop spilling out or stop the pain in your face. What? This doesn't make fucking sense. And dude, punctuation. <laughs> That you are my daughter and I love you, I know your mother, and somehow together we can leave behind the waste and the ruin and the screams of the poison and pride. What? Where's the punctuation? This is again this one sentence. But then, a lack of pride would admit the wasted years and make them real and give them power. And even now, I am a woman and something, somewhere, will know. Me, even after the world burns, ashes and the needles and their poison. Oh, hang on, hang on. Apparently, we are a woman, so I guess we should, um. What I know deep inside does not matter when I know other things on the surface. And life is a grinding machine, and a girl and a woman cannot escape its teeth. Teeth for tenderness, and even after I am nothing at all, my daughter will contemptuously spit my name, and show that her skin is the tough skin of an animal, and she will face the ruin and the pleasure, and the fucking, and eventually will the wasted years. And the silent scream, and the thing deep inside, hidden from the heart of mouth, and through the words that spell out. And the thing too deep to know, she will be a proud woman like me. And someday we will shake our fists together, and them in the memory of their arrogant eyes, and be proud together too. And something somewhere will know us, and our ruin. As I sit here watching the uncounted empty needles and feeling the need that surpasses all other needs and remembering the pleasures and drowning out the screams and that it was all for nothing and feeling the pride that will remain when the earth is burnt to ashes. Autumn's alarm clock went off in the next room and the mother began to dry her tears. Autumn's eyes flew open, lying in her sleeping bag watching her stuffed dolphin. Surrounded by the motors and parts she loved to think of, letting the alarm continue to sound from its place in the opposite corner, staring at the ceiling, adjusting her thoughts, and feeling the misty emotions begin to evaporate with the dream that brought them on. Awake now. Her mother walked into the room and leaned on her doorframe, looking. Are you awake? Her voice was weaker and softer than normal. Autumn was looking, too. After a moment, she said, I'm awake. I love you, Mom. Autumn didn't know why she said it. <laughs> Her mother's mouth tightened, and she blinked a few times, then she nodded. I, all right. She looked back at Autumn and Autumn looked at her. And they looked at each other for some time. A game by David Siminski. Created in Unity 5 Free. Okay, so. The end. Oh, I think Look at the waves. Are they pretty? Yes. They're very pretty. 